Hello everyone, it is Evan from The Trade Risk on Wednesday, October 14th here with a market recap video. We are first going to analyze the current market environment. We're going to look at some other markets, some leading sectors, individual names, and then just a couple of trade ideas for the rest of the week. We'll kick it off with the SPY ETF that tracks the S&P 500 and the pullback continued today. We closed down 0.47% on the day and followed through to the downside off of yesterday's reversal candle. So. What's happened here over the past couple of weeks is we saw a strong rally from the lower end of this range here down down around 188 in the SPY all the way through the top end and ultimately stalling out right around 202 uh, with some very stretched kind of overbought readings uh, across a, a handful of metrics. So we cooled off for a couple of days sideways. Yesterday was the first time uh, we actually broke through some, some minor support, which was the previous day's lows. And then today, uh, we saw some follow through to the downside. Now we're still very healthy all things considered. We're basically just touching the very fast eight period exponential moving average here. So still very much in the bull's court here. Uh, but this is sort of what I would consider the first line of defense. Upper level momentum is being tested right now, right around 199 or so in the SPY. So basically today's lows. So going forward, what I'm interested in is whether or not we see a third day pullback uh, in continuation lower. Basically, if we see ourselves getting and falling back into this range, it does start to raise a little bit of concern just to think, um, you know, maybe this was just a, a fake out breakout here uh, and we're going to just come slog it out in this range, especially as we're going through earnings season. There's going to be a lot of cross currents going on uh, as individual companies report. So that's sort of what I'm looking at here. Again, you still have uh, this this open gap here that um, is, is kind of staring us in the face. Maybe that needs to get filled. Um, who knows what will happen? But basically for now, the bulls still have the ball. Uh, they are above all the fast moving averages holding up uh, to the top end of this range, of course, still arguably on the outside on the breakout of this range and we're retesting right now. So that's uh, that's sort of what I'm looking at with the SPY. If we look at the small caps, you can see they've already started to break down into uh, the, the range once again. Uh, they never got a definitive breakout like the SPY did, like an overshoot, um, if you will, above, you know, say 117 or so, these prior highs back here from September. They sort of lag they didn't quite make those new highs like the spy did so now this is back in the range and the cues still hanging out here in this band of resistance uh, basically tested the highs here from mid-September and it's just sitting here now kind of pausing waiting to see what's going to happen uh, it did outperform a bit today closing only slightly red so uh, that that should be interesting going forward as well if we look at some other markets TLT was on fire definitively pushed through this resistance zone this in this inflection zone uh, that that we've been watching so it's above 123 this definitely looks like it's now in motion to the upside so let's see if it can continue you here uh, it's above all the fast moving averages the trend is up so let's see if we can in, in this time frame let's see if this can continue USO uh, hang hung in there today uh, closed basically flat on the day this was following up Monday which we saw a big uh, 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 bearish candle here off of the highs above $16 where we closed on Friday. Uh, we saw some follow through yesterday and then just a just a pause here. But definitively we're back in the range here for USO. Uh, I am out of my of our USO trade. Uh, just a small win on this uh, for us after everything was said and done. She might have been a small loss. It was basically a flat uh, trade for us. Uh, all things considered, we did add to it in here, trying to get a little aggressive and um, brought our average up a little bit. And we ended up just, uh, you know, stopping ourselves out of this yesterday. So uh, going to wait to revisit this one, let this set up, might need more time just digesting in this range here. But for now, it's, it's uh, doesn't look too, too interesting as it's just dead center here, uh, trapped in between, you know, the support and resistance, which are about a point away on each side. So I'm going to give it some time there. UNG had a nice session today, up one and a half percent, still a very damaged chart. You can see it's reclaimed the fast eight period EMA, still below 20 period EMA. So so still in bearish formation here, needs more to prove, but so far uh, so good for UNG. Gold had a really nice session today. This is now, again, definitively above 
prior resistance here above 110, 111 area, which is very constructive. So I think you know the bulls clearly have the have the ball here. They're they're stretched above the fast moving averages. Could use a little pause, but right now they are certainly squeezing to the upside. And silver, similar situation here. It's above prior resistance, starting to shape up, finally starting to look constructive after looking uh, uh, very uh, ugly for quite some time. So the metals definitely starting to shape up here. Now, if we go to some individual sectors, semiconductors absolutely noted today. Uh, they are flying through this uh, important area that has held uh, back in earlier of this year as support for quite some time, multiple tests, and then again as resistance here in August and uh, la uh, later on in September. So this is uh, a constructive move to the upside up 3%, nice outperformance today above all the fast moving averages. Uh, certainly this one, this sector was, this had been beaten up for quite some time this year. Uh, it had been lagging. It is now uh, not necessarily leading, but it's certainly seeing the squeeze, the momentum, the uh, uh, rotation into it. So let's see if this can continue, but definitely constructive signs here today. XLE continues to work well. Uh, it held in uh, uh, some some gains today. Outperformed, still above all the fast-moving averages, and even the um, material names these continue to start continue to work. Uh, and again, this was a beaten-up sector for for a long period of time. So it's trying to clear through this, still battling at this prior resistance area right around 43.50 or so. Uh, so look for that to continue. And on the downside, financials still struggle here. Very lethargic, not really doing much uh, and still very much range bound in here. So definitely uh, the laggards as of right now and, and they have been going through some of their earnings here over the past few days. Now let's look at some individual names. We'll start with Apple. Still kind of sandwiched in here between the support and resistance level. It's in the middle of the range. Not too exciting just yet. Needs a catalyst, perhaps earnings or something uh, to really start to uh, technically break it out or down from this area. Google shaping up. It's clearing this area right around 675 or so. Not a uh, strong close today, but still above all the fast moving averages. Certainly looking constructive here, so I like that one going forward. Amazon still my favorite. Uh, down day today. I really like this above 550. Earnings are coming up soon, so it's probably going to get in the way of any potential trade here. Uh, but I like that it's starting to clear this area of overhead supply, or at least it's trying to. It's above the fast moving averages. So we'll see if we can maybe get a quick trade out of this tomorrow if it wants to work. Otherwise, I think earnings are going to get in the way. Uh, next, if we go to Netflix, they're reporting right now. Let's see if I can find out what the price is. So it looks like they're around $100. So they are uh, faded here off of the earnings release after hours at around 415 right now. So it's down around $100. I think as long as you're above 94, technical picture here doesn't change at all. Um, above, you know, these lows right in here that have held in for quite some time and, you know, through June and July that acted as support, you're really still just range bound. So perhaps we have to come down and retest these lows over the next couple of weeks if this weakness does stick going forward. But, you know, for now, uh, I think this, this 10 point down move in the after hours uh, short term it can hurt but um, you know bigger picture here nothing really changed so let it digest it's had a really nice run and I think consolidation within this range for a couple of weeks months is healthy action overall all things considered uh, next we'll look at Facebook continuing to uh, firm up here really needs to get back above this 9570 top end of this 95 area and I think this one would be on its march higher uh, towards this 100 handle and all-time highs. I like the look of this starting to shape up here needs a little more time Twitter continues to uh to, to, to slog it out in this little range here too. It has cleared this area right around $28 of prior resistance and uh, it is trying to hold above it. Had a volatile few sessions the, this, this week really uh, but it is eking out some games outperformed nicely today up 1% so I want to see it hold this area right around $28 or so and I think that one would be very constructive going forward. Alibaba, this one is continuing to uh, hold up as well. Traded down 1.6% but again still above all the fast moving averages trying to hold above this prior resistance area so I think this one uh, again is still very constructive here might need a couple more days of going sideways or pulling back but you definitely want to see it hold above 66 67 dollars and I think you might start to get the trend turning around here uh, after being uh, beaten up for quite some time and then finally GoPro also uh, closed green today so a little bit of outperformance and that came with a lot of volatility as it was selling off earlier in the day still very very beaten 
beaten up, um, still hasn't really put in any meaningful retracement ever since coming off of these August highs here, right around $63, more than caught in half, uh, and it really hasn't seen more than just a couple of day bounce. Um, so still riding the fast moving averages all the way down, needs to break that, needs to start to get something going to the upside right now. I uh, just don't see it. And then finally, Tesla, this one uh, coming off 1%, that was after yesterday's little reversal candle there. Still, uh, it, you know, very damaged here as well very uh, extended below these fast moving averages and just lost in this bigger range here. So not too exciting for Tesla. This one needs to go through some earnings or catalyst or time just to uh, firm up and, and look a little more interesting. Perhaps another retest down here around 200 or sub 200 level uh, would, would get that one pretty interesting again. And now looking ahead at a couple of trade setups here, I think I've talked about a few of these names in the past, but uh, they still are at or near uh, these sort of inflection areas that I'm interested in. The first is uh, Paycom here, and this one, after putting in a nice breakout session last week, up 8.5%, uh, it is cooling off so far this week, but it is holding above the majority of supply here, the majority of resistance here that I was looking at right around 39, 39.50. If you go back to a daily time frame, it's, it's still above the fast moving averages. It held up today. Look to see if this one can, can firm up later this week, back above $40, you can start making new closing highs. I like this one going forward. ENR, I know I've talked about this one as well, still hanging out here above, um, above this recent consolidation, above this area right around $42. Let's see if this one can firm up later this week. I think that one looks constructive in a tough sector, uh, just given... Um, uh, some of the laggards we saw today in this sector, but um, see if that one can shape up. And then finally, ACXM. I think I had talked about this one as well. Um, it's battling through this resistance area. Again, I think we're you know very similar in all three of these. They are pulling back a little bit here, but they are at a level of interest. They are above fast moving averages. Technically, they're behaving and outperforming. So let's see if they can firm up later in the week. I think you can get some decent trades out of any one of these three uh, going forward. And that's all I have for today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.